Hey there. Welcome back to All Four Men City Thunder. Today we're going to talk about something that could brighten your future. Stay tuned. <laughs> Looks like you made it to the other side of the intro. Glad you're back to see us here at R4 Mississippi Thunder. We welcome you all. And like I said in the pre-intro there, we're gonna talk about something that might brighten your future. That is a new flashlight. Get you a new flashlight. You can always use another flashlight. These two flashlights are the newest, the latest and greatest from Vast Fire. They have what they call the uh, XHP90 chip in them. And they're supposed to be like 5,000 lumens on high, 3,000 on low. This is the EDC one, they call it. And they just call this the regular flashlight. So, let's get these on the table and take a closer look at them. Okay, now that we got them on the table, we'll take a little closer look at them. <clears throat> this is the big, bigger handheld flashlight they sent me. Both of these flashlights have what they're calling the, uh, I think it's X. HP LED chip. You can see it down in there. It's supposed to be the brightest chip that Vastfire has, has. Both of the flashlights have a little rubber cover here and that covers a USB port and then the small type C connector that comes with it in the package. So in each package, you know, in the flashlight with a big package, you get the flashlight and a charger and then if you order the little flashlight, you get the little flashlight, the EDC flashlight and a charger. We'll pop that back in. On this side, you have the power button. You turn it on. If you push it one time slow like that, it comes on high. If you push it again, it goes to the low setting. And it looks like both of them in the, what I could find on the website, uh, that it go, it's 5,000 lumens on the high setting. 3,000 on the low setting and I think it's also 3,000 on the strobe setting which is the third setting on the switch and then the fourth setting you know is off this little lantern part here if you want it to come on you just take the switch and you double click real quick you get the lantern setting on high you get the lantern setting on low it looks like it's flashing right there but actually I think that's just the way that the camera is picking it up that is a solid light, it's not flashing to the eye. Then you go to the red, and then you click it again, and go. it is a red flashing there. And I'll show this more in the dark when we take it out at night. They have the, this one has the zoom function, you know, you just basically pull this. This one's a little looser, like you can actually like sling this real hard and it'll zoom out, so you have to kind of watch that got the curved lens some little notches around there and that's about it on this one it's a real nice light I, I like it I really have I haven't had it that long now um, but it's really nice to have this is the what they call in the EDC light like I said it does have the XHP 90 chip in it this LED chip you can see down in there and so it's supposed to be on high. Looks like about 5,000 lumens on low. It's supposed to be about 3,000 lumens. And I think the flashing setting is also at 3,000 lumens. Oh, let me show you something else. When you uh, hit this switch and turn this on, you see this. This is your battery indicator. And it's on both lights, as you can see. And you have to cycle through to get it to cut off. You can't just cut it on and off. Okay, so you got the LED light shows how charged it was. Now this came charged. Um, I took off the little end cap and there was a little piece of paper in there. Took it out and it was fully charged. Again, high function on this one. You push that button once. Go, well, excuse me, let me restart that. High function. Okay, that is a low function, sorry. It's not flashing. 
to my eye. It's just the way the camera's picking it up. But that is actually the flashing function. That's weird, the way the camera picks that resolution up. And then you go off. Now, if you want again, if you want the lantern function, you double click real fast. You have the high, goes to low, goes to red, and then a red flashing. Now, for some reason on the big light, it does flash faster. I'll try to show that better at night when I put take these out at nighttime to show them to you. Again, the light has the cover, the rubber cover there for the USB and the Type C connector. Comes with a charger. Both of them have this same little, nice little adjustable lanyard on them. I think that's pretty neat function there, or pretty neat little add-on they put on there. All right, well, this one, oh, excuse me, this one also has the zoom. It's really tight to zoom in and out. And I'll show you what all this looks like when I take them out at night. There you go for the little tabletop of the two. And let's do some night footage. Hi, and welcome to Midnight Range. Now, we're out here on the range tonight, and um, I have this EDC flashlight from Vasfire. Right now, it's on the lantern function. It has three settings on the lantern function on the side of the light. I don't know if you can see that on camera too well. That was high, this is medium, and then it goes to a, or excuse me, that was high and that was low. This is a red function, and then a red flashing function. Okay, looking down range, there's the sign, and it's about oh, 10, 15 yards. Then we'll slide over, and it's zoomed in all the way. We'll slide over to the, the targets, as you can see. And then we'll back it back down, we'll zoom back out. That window goes away, the four LED panels kind of go into one, and it comes back. And as you can see, it floods out more, but you know, you lose that spot effect. On this function, you have a high and a low. Then we go to a flashing and off. Okay. Okay, here we are with the bigger flashlight, um, what they're calling the most powerful light from Fast Fire. It is on the lantern function again. To get the lantern function, same way, you just double click on it real fast and you will on the power button and you'll get to the lantern function that was a high we go down to the medium or excuse me the low and then we go to a red then we go to a flashing but for some reason this flashing on this one is a lot faster than they flashed on the EDC light okay let's move the range take a look at that so here we have the, the bigger flashlight we have it on high zoomed in there again it's a side going over to the range see how it looks zoomed in and then we'll back out on it so the same thing slugs back out and on this you have a high Oops, oh, I double click excuse me hold on let's see let's back this out here you have a high a low function and a strobe function Okay, for comparison's sake, let's get, hold on here, I know it's dark, can't see nothing without the lights on, that is the EDC light, this is the flashlight, you can see the flashlight zooms in, the flashlight is on the left, the EDC is on the right, you can see that the flashlight zooms in further, or it makes a little tighter beam, as you go across versus the EDC light and as you come down toward the ground you can see the window pattern there now let's put them both on low I gotta push the right button on this one to get it there we go get it on low there's the low function on both of them and then the flashing function on both of them. That's pretty cool. I think they're pretty good lights. Okay, this is a quick close-up of what it looks like if you were just shining the flashlight, you know, as you were walking. This is the bigger flashlight. And over here on the other side, I'm turn this big flashlight off. 
This is the EDC flashlight. Just shine on the ground. You just kind of, as you were walking. Okay. And if you wanted to zoom them in, that's what they look like. <laughs> Zoomed in. You can't hardly see the window pattern, but it's there. That is a high medium function or low function and then the strobe function okay one little deal i did want to mention is on the side of the lights i showed you the type c connector which is the input for charging is a one amp but it has that usb which is a five volt output so you can charge your cellular devices when you plug your cellular devices or whatever in there that charges with usb the lights come on shows you how much charge you have left in the battery so you know you don't want to drain it too much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Come back to see us again on Awful Mississippi Thunder and God bless America.